Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Good? Very good. Okay, excellent. Ready, ready to start another class? Yes. yes. Okay, good. So here we have Victor, Luis, Esther, Roger, Rocio, Larissa, and Mauricio. Rosie is coming in. I have Ceci also. Okay. Okay, this is the last the last one we had yesterday, right? We're talking about the reading. We finished the the knowledge check, and now we're going to start with section two point zero. Here we go. Okay, good. Now, Larissa, can you do me a favor and read the uh, the objective that we have here? Okay, hey, teacher. Yes, please. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing parts of the body. Okay, good. Now, do you know parts of your body, if people? For example, head, forehead, uh, nose, mouth, cheeks, ears. Yes? Some of them, right? Okay, I'm going to show you two videos, okay? The first video is about in general, uh, and then after I'm going to, to show you one with the specific words for the body part, right? So that we can have some practice using this. Uh, let's see, next, um, here. I have this one. Now let's share the sound. The maximum, and there we go. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing different parts of the body. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Parts of the body. Head. Eye. Ear. Nose, mouth, tooth, teeth, chin, back, shoulder, chest, stomach, throat, neck, wrist, arm, elbow, thumb, Hand, finger, fingers, leg, knee, ankle, foot, 
feet, toe, toes. Make sure that you memorize this vocabulary. An easy way to do this is by pointing to your head and expressing this is my head. Then pointing to your arm and saying this is my arm. Remember the goal is to learn this vocabulary. So do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words. Okay. And I'll show you another one. Okay. Head. Head. Forehead. Forehead. Hair. Hair. Eye. I, eyebrow, eyebrow, eyelashes, eyelashes, eyelid, eyelid, nose, nose, cheek, cheek, chin, chin. Ear, ear, jaw, jaw, mouth, mouth, lips, lips, teeth, teeth, gums, gums, tongue, tongue. Neck, neck, chest, chest, shoulder, shoulder, armpit or underarm, underarm. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Wrist, wrist, palm, palm, fingers, fingers, index finger, index finger, middle finger, middle finger, ring finger, ring finger. Little finger or pinky, little finger, pinky, thumb, thumb, fingernail, fingernail, knuckles, knuckles, stomach, stomach, belly button, belly button. Hip, hip, waist, waist, leg, leg, thigh, thigh, knee, knee, the K is silent, knee, shin, shin. Calf, calf, foot, foot, ankle, ankle, heel, heel, toes, toes. Now it's your turn. Okay. Now you have to see the picture and you have to say the, the noun. For example, this one is head, right? Uh, head. Uh -huh. head. 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 This one? Head. 
hair. 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 Okay. Hair. 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 Forehead. 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 Eye. 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 Fingernail. 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 Fingers. 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 Middle finger. Middle finger. Middle fingers. fingers. Middle fingers. Ring, finger. Ring finger. Ring finger. Ring finger. Ring finger. Knuckles. 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 Hand. 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 Elbow. 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 Okay, here we have the chin. 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 Eyebrow. Elbow. 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 Chin. 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 Right? Eyebrow. 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 Eyelid. Eyelid. I live. 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 I Teeth. 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 Ear. 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 Ankle. Ear. Ankle. 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 Thigh. Thigh. Thigh is a muscle, right? Thigh. 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 Jaw. 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 Mandibula here, right? Jaw. 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 Leg. 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 Desde la ingle hasta acá, right? Leg. Leg. Belly button. Belly button. Belly button. Belly button. Belly button. Belly button. Thumb. 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 Index finger. Index finger. Index finger. Cheek. 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 Palm. 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 Waist. 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 Song. 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 Hip. 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 Foot. 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 Knee. 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 Shin. 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 Que es la espinilla o chimpinilla, right? Shin. Cow. Calf. Calf. Cow. Calf. Cow. Heel. 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 
Toes. 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 Lips. 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 Mouth. 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 Shoulder. 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 Chest. 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 Chest is for men and for women is breast. Breast. Neck. 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 Okay, and then we have neck. Neck. Okay, the neck is here. Neck. Okay. Good. Now with this practice, we can use here, uh, let me see for everybody. Okay, you can practice, for example, the, a, let's say parts of the body. And here, we can use, okay, for example, that if you're gonna say this, is my head. Okay, aquí ya lo podemos practicar en contexto, right? This is my head. Yes. Uh, this is my nose. Okay. This is my uh, mouth. Okay. Singular, right? Uh, this is my chin, okay, another one, help me, help me. This is my neck. This is my neck, okay, oops. This is, this is my neck, uh-huh. Singular, this right? Is this is my hip. Stomach. This is my stomach. This is my stomach. This is singular, but we can also use plural, right? Okay. And if we use plural. These are my uh -huh. this, eyes. But look at this one. These, these are, are my eyes. My eyes. Yes, very good. Thank you. These are my toes. My toes. Okay, toes and los pies eh, y en las manos. We can use fingers. 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 Fingers, okay. fingers. fingers are my fingers. Uh -huh. These are my fingers. Okay. These are have... my ears. These are my ears. Okay, very good. These are my ears. Uh -huh. And, y así pueden practicar con todas las partes del cuerpo que hemos visto en los dos videos, right? These are my, this is my thumb. Okay, this is my thumb, mi dedo pulgar. This is my index finger. Okay. Uh, these are my shoulders. Okay, you can say that one here. These are my shoulders. You can also practice with, para cambiar my, you can use these are your feet. Okay. Remember that we have foot. Singular and plural, feet. Uh, we have a uh, tooth, singular feet. and plural, feet. teeth. 
correct. Uh -huh. We have uh, another one. Uh, let me see. We have a uh, oh the word chin. Get la barbilla. Chin, and then we have also shin. Es la parte frontal de la aquí la espinilla, la chimpinilla, en el en los pies, para donde decimos canillas, right? So this is shin. Okay. What else? Con todas estas ustedes pueden escribir oraciones. Con todas las partes. This is my tongue. This is my, these are my lips. Uh, what else? This is my, this is my neck. These are my elbows. Okay, los, uh, los codos, right? And that's it. I'm going to submit it. Se los, okay, ahí se los dejo para que puedan ver ejemplos y agregarle más. Okay, y de esa manera, Se pueden memorizar todo el vocabulario que está oh, en, yes. en estos dos videos, right? In two videos. And some others. Noche, ok. Teacher, luego nos puede compartir el link del video, por favor. Oh, ahorita lo estoy copiando, me leyó la mente. Right now, copy <laughs> and chat. Ok, ahí lo tiene, aquí en el chat del, del grupo de la clase, lo voy a poner ahorita mismo. Ahí está, ahí okay. lo pueden copiar ya. Ocupen ese mismo para que, ahí pueden encontrar mucho en YouTube, pero ocupen ese porque ya es el vocabulario que acabamos de ver. Y, y lo pueden practicar. Si tienen otros, agréguenlo, no problem, right? No se limiten con lo, que les, con lo que yo les doy. Ok, good, good, good. No problem. Ok, so then we have. Ok, here. Let's say in slow. Now we're gonna see the next video. In the next video, we are going to use the vocabulary, but In context here. Okay, good. Uh, let me see. Victor, can you please read this objective here, please? Okay. Uh, by the end of this class, you will learn how to use have plus non and feel plus adjective to express health problems. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in the real life settings. Okay, good. So this is, for example, that right now you saw the, uh, how, uh, the vocabulary, right? <coughs> Sorry. How to say neck, how to say head, uh, how to say um, shoulder, feet, knee, okay, all those all those parts of the body. But sometimes it is also important to express how we feel. And then, for example, when we want to say, oh, I have a headache, me de la cabeza, right? So you have to say, I have a headache. Or, but you don't say, I feel a headache. You can say, I feel terrible. Me siento terrible, right? Why? I have a headache, I have fever, uh, I have a, a, a sore throat, and then you start saying all the, todos los pains and aches, todos los quebrantos que siento, right? So then pay attention to the next video, okay? And see the, the information, and then after we can have some practice. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums.
Hoffman. In this class, you'll learn how to express different illnesses. For example, I have a headache. I don't feel well. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title, I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's... I feel homesick. Listen into a conversation title. Okay, this is I again. feel homesick. I feel break. homesick. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Oh, I'm not so <laughs> good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Okay, good. Now, uh, Larissa, you are Brian. Okay, you read this part, and Roger, okay. you read the part of Kenichi. Pero Larissa, what? Larissa, so ah. Larissa no. <laughs> sorry. No, no, está bien. Hay otra Larissa. Hay otra Larissa, <laughs> yes. okay. No, to man. Larissa, please. To Larissa. Okay, vamos a empezar con Larissa. Y mucho gusto, Tocaya. No. Okay. Gracias, igual. <laughs> okay, entonces aquí tengo Larissa Solórzano, que la tengo aquí ahorita. Okay. Okay, okay go ahead. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I am not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. 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 Maybe you have the flu? No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That is a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel very old ready. Okay, very good. Now, Alfredo Lopez and now Larissa Martin. Martinez, right? Or Martin? Martin. <laughs> Martin. Okay, no. okay. Okay, sorry. Oh. Okay. Alfredo and Larissa. Um, I am Brian or Kenichi? Kenichi. Kenichi, you're Kenichi. Ah, okay. Okay, Alfredo, you begin. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? How are you? Oh, I'm not good. No, uh, excuse me. Oh, I am not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and uh, back, back, stay, uh, back, 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 back. Maybe you have to flu. No, I think I just uh, feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. Maybe I can help. Let me have lunch at the new Japan restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, okay. thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay, Luis. okay. Luis and Esther, right? Brian and Kenichi. Luis, you begin. Uh, Esther, you are Kenichi, right? Remember, this one is. Teacher, uh, disculpe yeah. que lo interrumpa, pero me puede decir cómo se pronuncia bien dolor de cabeza. 
Huh? That's what I'm going to do. Just here, for example, remember you're going to use here. Uh, what's the matter? Then headache, headache, backache. Headache, backache, flu. Headache, backache. Bad back, back Homesick. Eh, la otra? And I feel better already. Okay. Headache, backache. And then we have homesick. And homesick. Okay, good. Okay, Luis and Esther. I'm Kenichi, uh, sure. You're Brian. Okay. Okay. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and I backache. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you have the food? No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. All right. Okay, very good. Okay, look at this one. Backache. 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 Headache. Backache. Headache. 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 Backache. Backache. Headache. 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 Yes. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, okay. Mauricio, Brian, Rocio, you are Kenichi. También hay dos Mauricio, teacher. Oh, okay. Mauricio Perez. Okay. Okay, Brian, you're Brian, and Rocio, you are Kenichi. Rocio Flores. Okay. Um, oh yes. Uh -huh. Sorry. Como que es lo que ese es el nombre que dice Hey Kenichi. Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Hey Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I know so good actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I had a headache and a headache. Backache. Backache. Backache uh -huh. and uh, headache. Maybe uh -huh. you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have a lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Already. Okay, good. Uh, vamos a dos más, okay? Uh, Karen, you are Brian. Pablo Javier, you are Karen Flores. And Pablo Javier, you are Kenichi. Yes, I am Brian, teacher. Yeah, Karen is Brian and you are Kenichi. Okay. Okay, Karen. Karen Flores. Sí. Karen. Yo. Okay. Se, Creo se que me, hay dos también. ¿no? Se me movió Karen, pero que no la tenía. Karen, Karen. ¿Dónde are you? I don't see her anymore. Okay, yes, Karen Flores. Uh -huh. Karen Flores. Brian. Okay. Bye. Go ahead. Hello, Karen Flores, no? Hola, hola. Okay, go ahead. Can't be. <laughs> yes. Okay, usted comienza. You begin. Bye. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I am not so good, actually. Actually. Why does the matter? What's the matter? Ma what's the matter? Well, well, I have a headache and headache. Headache. 
headache, headache. Uh -huh. headache. headache. and uh, a backache. Back backache. 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 Headache. Headache and a backache. Okay. May you have the flu? No. no, I think I just feel a little. Homesick. Homesick for Japan. That, that's too bad. But maybe I can help. Can have help. See. Let's have around uh, that new new Japan, new Japanese ha Japanese restaurant ja Japanese. Japanese Japanese restaurant 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 that's a great idea thank Brian I feel better already all right okay there you go okay good now listen again eh, no podemos practicarlos todos, pero en la siguiente vamos a ver si practican los que no han practicado. Eh, now let's see. Listen again. Oh, wait. Okay. I feel homesick. I feel homesick. I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. Sick, awful, terrible, miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine, great, terrific, fantastic. I would like to start by explaining the examples on the left-hand side of this chart. How to form statements with have plus noun. We can follow this formula to do that. Subject plus have plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include a noun, a headache. Let's take a look at one more example. I have the flu. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include the noun, the flu. Now, I would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective. We can follow this formula. Subject plus feel plus adjective. Let's analyze the example, I feel homesick. The subject is I. Then we need to add feel. Finally, we need to put an adjective, homesick. Or it can be any of these adjectives towards the right. I feel sick, awful, terrible, miserable, 
Fine. Great. Terrific. Fantastic. Now it's your turn to practice giving examples of your own. Try to use the vocabulary and try to make examples using have plus noun and feel plus adjective. After you finish this activity, share your... Okay. Oops, sorry. Now it's your turn. Okay, any questions about the vocabulary or expression? Uh, uh -huh. um, solo como comentario. Uh -huh. um, vaya, las palabras que, por ejemplo, negativo, terrible, uh -huh. y el, posit el positivo, terrific. ¿Está bien la pronunciación? Terrific, ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Es casi eh, bastante similar. Ajá, uh -huh. sí. Diferente. De hecho, uh, eh, digamos al inicio, cuando uno las conoce y todo, está estamos aprendiendo el idioma, eh, hay que tener quizás hasta un poco de cuidado de cómo lo expresa esas dos preguntas, esas dos palabras, porque usted por, yo por quedar bien con una persona le puedo decir a una, una amiga, hey, hello, you look terrible, ups, ahí sí la riego, ¿verdad? porque le digo, you look terrible y bien emocionado, entonces le estoy diciendo que se ve terrible, right? <risa> Pero si le digo, hey, eh, Joana, you look terrific. O sea, esto es como decirle que eres excelente. Entonces, pero terrible, es decir, uy, te ves fatal. Right? Entonces, <risa> <risa> o sea, puede haber un, 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 un pequeño error, pero que puede ser o sea, ofensivo. ¿verdad? Ajá, pero exacto, es bien mínima. O sea, al, al inicio se ve. Pero luego ya cuando se dice terrific, es, es decir que es algo que es positivo. How do you feel today? Terrific. Sí, pero excelente. Right? But I say, hey, how do you feel today? Oh, terrible. Why? I have a headache, uh, sore throat, uh, uh, my, my back aches, uh, I have the flu. And then uh, homesick, nostálgico, right? Homesick is nostálgico. Uh, feel homesick is when we extrañamos a alguien o algo. Okay? Que no estamos, no está cerca. Okay? I feel homesick. For example, if you are in the United States, you feel homesick because you miss the pupusas, we miss uh, our family, okay? The food, the places, the heat, the calor, right? So you miss that. Okay, alguna otra pregunta? Esa fue muy buena pregunta. Alguna otra pregunta para el eh, del vocabulario de este? O, o de acá de la conversación? ¿Alguna frase nueva o algo? ¿No? Ok. Eh, les acabo de enviar ahí el chat del, de WhatsApp. Eh, este, el cuadrito al final. This one. Ok, this one. Ok. So you can see it. Okay. And now uh, I want you to tell me. Ahora me va a decir cada quien cómo se siente. Okay. Acuérdense que pueden usar más de una, más de una expresión, más de una frase. Right. For example, how, uh, how are you today? And then you say, well, I, I have a headache. Okay. Uh, I have uh, some fever. Uh, I feel good. I feel excellent. I feel great. I feel tired. Okay, cansado, right? Any way you feel, okay? Uh, How do you feel? Yes. Uh, también para el, you can use the chat. El, uh -huh. el, el estoy cansado, podríamos ocupar también el I am exhausted. I am? Exhausted. I am ex. Aha, uh -huh. yes, exhausted. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. But okay. it's si como eh, tired is cansado, but exhausted, estoy exhausted, más que todavía que tired. Uh -huh. Así se puede, o sea, claro. 
O sea, depende okay. de cómo uno lo diga. O sea, I'm tired. En ese momento hay que decir, I'm tired. Estoy cansado, pero puedo seguir por jugar. No, todavía juego un partido de fútbol, right? Ahorita, no problem. <risa> but when you say, okay. I, am, I am exhausted, ya no me muevo de aquí, pero ni con grúa, right? No matter what. <risa> okay. okay. So then you are very tired, right? Or you can say, I am very tired. Okay, I'm very tired. Eh, por ejemplo, vean ahí en el chat, le voy a poner sore. Ache and pain. Okay. Can you see? Yes. Esas tres palabras se ocupan para expresar dolores en el cuerpo. Okay. For example, sore throat. Okay. Dolor de garganta. Okay, sore throat. Okay, you have head, ache, head, ache. Okay, you can have a back, ache, back ache. Okay, you have a pain in the neck. Esta puede ser para otra frase también, pero pain in the neck. Tengo un dolor acá en el cuello, right? Me tiene nunca, right? Or pain in the neck. When we are stressed or tired, okay? So then you can see this one, sore, head, and what? And backache. Okay, for example, uh, uh, what happened when you go to the gym for the first time? Que dolorido sería. Ajá. Then you say, my body aches. Toda okay. la primera semana queda. <laughs> my body aches, right? Ahí mi cuerpo me duele, right? Uh -huh. okay. I have sores. I have, I have sores everywhere. Okay, tengo dolores por todas partes. I have, they have sores everywhere. Segundo día, tercer día de gym. Okay? Okay. Yeah. So these are, you know, different ways to express, okay, feelings. Okay, um, how do you feel today? Aunque no lo sientan, solo por practicar. Okay, how do you feel today? Let's see, uh, I don't know, Pablo? You can say, I have or I feel. Pablo, Javier, are you there? Uh, okay. Well, Alfredo. Uh -huh, Alfredo. I feel H. I feel? H. <laughs> Ache. Ache. I feel aches. Ache. Where? Ache. Where? Your head? Your back? Uh, la rodilla. Okay, my knee. Okay, my knee hurts. Ah, es otra palabra. Good. Thank you. My knee hurts. Well, I stomach. My knee hurts. Okay, mi rodilla me duele. Okay, my knee hurts. Okay. Uh, question. Eh, para decir dolor de cuello. Ahí está, ahí se lo puse, dice pain in the neck. Teacher, y para decir dolor Ajá. de cuerpo, o sea, que duele todo el cuerpo, se puede decir my body hurts. My body hurts, my body aches, ajá, uh -huh. yes. My body, oh, my body hurts, yes. My body hurts, okay. Thanks, teacher. No problem. My, body my arms hurt. My arms hurt. My, uh -huh. my arms hurt. Okay, ahí sí. Vamos a cambiar un poquito. My arms. Ya no vamos a poner hurts, sino que solo hurt, porque estamos hablando de los dos brazos. Vean que cuando es singular, mi rodilla me duele. Mi mm. cuerpo, mi cuerpo me duele. Solo un cuerpo, a todo. Hurts. 
pero ahí dice, my arms, mis brazos me duelen. My arms hurt. Allá no le ponemos la tercera, quitamos la tercera persona del verbo hurt, right? Ok. Ok. Eso es por, por aquello de they, he, el lo de otro es it, if, y el último es they. Ok, good. También por eso es bueno todos los ejemplos que dan, porque ahí vamos aclarando dudas. What else? Ahí pueden poner más en chat. Ahí me puso alguien, I feel tired. Uh -huh. my, my left, <laughs> ok, I like that. My left leg hurt. Esa es bien específica es en el chat. Porque tenemos left and right. Ok. Tenemos izquierdo y derecho. Right. And then my left leg hurt. Ahí solo le agregamos la S, hurts. Ya tenemos que me duele la pierna izquierda, right? Bien, ver. You can go to the doctor and the doctor say, oh, okay, what's your problem? Uh, Kevin, Larisa, Bodo, Alfredo, okay, what is your problem? Oh, my left leg hurts. Entonces el doctor va a ir al, a la pierna de izquierda. No es como el hospital donde le cortan la derecha y usted la que va a mal a la izquierda, right? So then, this is the, to be more specific. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? I have a question. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, how do you say abdomen in, in English? The abdominals, here this part. Uh -huh, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is abdomen. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's okay. uh, the same, yes. So we have a stomach. What else? One more, one more. Ahí pueden escribirla o decirla. If you have a doubt. And para expresar. Okay. There is a, a word that called numb. Have you heard the word numb? No. Let me see, num, num. For example, I say, my foot is num. Okay, there you go. Mi pie está dormido. Okay, no sleep, porque no tiene ojitos. Okay, what else? I feel pain in my, ah, uh, in my pinky. Yeah, the, the finger, right? Uh -huh. Okay, good. Uh, what else? Pain, uh, a stomachache. Mm -hmm. Better if you say a stomachache. Okay, look. Se puede decir dolor de estómago. Es una cosa decir, I have a stomachache, okay? Pero si usted dice también, I have a pain in my stomach. Es como tengo un dolor en el estómago, right? Yo creo que hay una pequeña diferencia en que si hay un dolor de estómago, un dolor de estómago es porque sentimos que es algo que nos ha caído mal. Pero cuando decimos, I have a pain in the stomach, tengo un dolor ahí, pero no sé qué es, ni sé dónde está exactamente, pero es en el estómago, ¿verdad? Entonces es como que un poquito más serio el decir, I have a pain in the stomach. Pero las dos son correctas. Okay. Depende de cómo lo digan, ¿verdad? Y eso es importante saberlo, porque cuando uno va a un doctor, que le toca alguna emergencia en inglés algún día, primero Dios que no, ¿ok? En in, in, in English, tienen que ser específicos en eso. Y dice, mira, I have a stomach, okay. probablemente comió mucho, comió una hora que no es frecuente, o a la poca comida. O dice, mire, I have a pain in my stomach, but I don't know. Entonces ya es de, de exámenes, para saber por qué. Ok, what else? How to say que tengo algo roto? Okay, uh, well, for example, I have a, my, my arm is broken. Okay, you can say broken, but I say roto. Broken. Okay, cuando ya está roto, por eso dice, I broke en pasado. I broke, let's say, I broke 
my arm. Okay, I broke my arm. I have a, okay, I have a broken hand, a broken hand. I have a broken Non translated. Okay. Non translated. Okay. ¿Qué más? Cuando dice descompuesto. Ajá. Es similar cuando se dice the car is broken. Ajá. My car is broken. Mi carro está descompuesto. Okay. Lo mismo que. I broke my leg. I broke an arm. I broke a finger. Yes. Solo, solo que en el, en el cuerpo es como más literal. I broke my, I broke my, my finger when I, when I was in high school. Okay. And my car was broken this morning. Estaba arruinado esta mañana. Right? Sure. Yes, Larissa. Eh, disculpe, o sea, broke, eh, broken, excuse me, broken no. es quebrar. Eh, o sea, es quebrar. Quebrar okay. es break. Um, break. Entonces, so broken es descompuesto. Exacto. Ajá. Descompuesto cuando estamos hablando de en un vehículo sí, sí, o en sí, un sí. aparato. Pero broken es, uh, es, es quebrado, o sea, digamos Ajá. un miembro del cuerpo. Cuando está en su cuerpo es algo que está roto o está quebrado. Ajá. Ah, ok, pero, uh, I, pero puedo decir, I broke, por ejemplo, cuando se quiebra alguna cosa. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Ahí depende, en inglés en este caso es por contexto. Hay que oh. contexto de ayudar. Por ejemplo, si, dice, si usted dice, uh, I broke a window. Broke a window, rompió una ventana. Ok. Pero okay. puede decir, por ejemplo, eh, eh, I broke my, I broke my leg my. when I was in high school. Me rompí la pierna cuando, jugaba, cuando estaba en high school. Ok. Y puede decir oh. ahorita, por ejemplo, es my... Eh, my finger is broken. Mi dedo está... Broken. Está quebrado. Está quebrado. Uh -huh. Yes. O también puede decir, my, por ejemplo, en este momento, my, mash, my washing machine is broken. Ok. okay. Mi lavadora thank está quebrada. Ok. Good. Thank Perfect. you, thank you. All right. A toothache. When you have a, you say one, cuando tiene olor de muela, I have a tooth, tooth, hey. Ah, eso es terrible. Toothache. Ok, then you say, I have a toothache. Ok. Eh, lo de muelas, un calambre, the cramps. Ok, cramps. Cuando tiene que me dieron calambres, right? Ok, so this Cramps. Is, ah, yes. The, what else? ¿Qué dice más ahí? ¿Se muela? Uh -huh. What else? What else? Okay, when you have a muscular contraction, right? Muscular contraction, una contracción muscular son cramps. What else? Otro, le llaman también, no son así, o alguien sabe, la, yo no sé la diferencia, para ser honesto, con espasmos, los espasmos. Y un calambre será igual. I don't know. Yo, como que es algo similar, pero no estoy yo muy seguro. Pull. Eh, pull, eh, this is pull a muscle. Cuando se dice que se desgarró un, un músculo, se dice pull a muscle, como, como un... Es como un tirón, tirón de músculo, ¿verdad? Right? Es el pull, pull a muscle, un desgarre. Ok. Eh, ¿Qué más conocemos? Ok, aquí. Yeah. <laughs> a black eye. My, uh, you have a black eye, como ojo negro. In, in English, it's like that. You know, like, uh, you say I have a black eye. And what is the one? Migraña. Uh -huh. Purple eye, but they, they say they use black. 
aquí usa, nosotros usamos morado, pero de hecho cambia de colores, ¿no? porque la primera vez poniendo como verdecito, no, pero comienza como rojo, esto es verde, y en inglés they call it black tie. Eh, what's the other one? Migraine. Migraña, migraine. I have migraine. My, migraine. Okay. Eh, ¿Qué más? Only? Okay, you see, there is a lot of vocabulary uh, related to to, uh, to the body parts that we can uh, that we can practice. Okay, let me see, just in the chat. Okay, good. And that's it. Am I going to Okay. Ah. Yes, you can see. I is sprain I sprain my ankle. Ahí está. I sprain my ankle. My ankle es como me, me torcí, tengo un, tor un esguince en el tobillo. Okay. Right. Eh, tengo, una, tengo una lista de vocabulario de eso que se la voy a mandar ahí por el chat. Okay. Por ahí creo que tengo. Eh, para que practiquen durante esta semana. Right. Eh, okay. Please don't... Uh, eh, no se les olvide estar metiéndose a la, a, la, a la plataforma, hacer los ejercicios, porque una semana es, son, quiero ver, tenemos es, dos, cinco, siete, nueve días prácticamente que no van a tener la práctica y si no se meten por lo menos a la, a la plataforma, a ver los videos, a adelantarse, chequear que viene, este, se pierde el entusiasmo, se pierde la práctica. Entonces, la idea yo veo que ahorita pues, los viven entusiasmados ahí preguntando, eso es buenísimo, me gusta, es porque hay entusiasmo. Entonces, este, no lo pierdan, ¿ok? Procuren esta semana adelantar y, y, y revisar y, y lo que hemos visto. ¿Y es, Larissa? Teacher, eh, o sea que la otra semana, como en vacación, no tenemos clase. No hay, ajá, no hay clase. Ajá, ¿Hasta cuándo regresamos? Regresamos el lunes 10. Ah, ok. Ah, o sea, las cuatro clases de la otra semana no las vamos a tener sino que hasta okay. el lunes 10 de agosto y okay. volvemos con las cuatro, cuatro clases cada, cada semana. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, bueno, disfruten en casa con su familia, ¿ok? Responsablemente, como dicen ahora, ¿eh? la nueva normalidad. Todo tiene que ver con responsabilidad. Este, okay. eh, Está encerrado. Sí, encerrados ahí, pero, pero sin pelear, ¿ok? <risa> <risa> Uh, don't, don't break the plates, ¿ok? No me va a tirar los platos, eh, Larissa, no me va a romper platos. Okay. Don't, break, don't break anything, right? Okay. Okay, well, uh, have a good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, a lot, and see you nice on Monday 10th, ¿ok? Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Bye.